And we're back with Monthly Stars. It's our monthly show where we celebrate our incredible volunteers and our Salem Kids and Salem Students Ministries. We've got two more incredible volunteers this month. Let's check it out. Let's welcome our first guest from Salem Kids. It's Katie Connor. Katie, hello. hello. Good hello, morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Having a little bit of deja vu? Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've done this before. Yes. <laughs> this is round two. The magic of editing. Take two. <laughs> You'll never know that we shot this already once before. Exactly. And now we're shooting it again. You're welcome, audience. Hey, because you already know, because we've done this already once before, yes. because you're a monthly star, you get paid in Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to bring them out here. Here is your lovely drink. Thank you. All right, and what are we drinking? We are drinking a grande peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha. Mm -hmm. Tis the season. Yes, it's it is. It's cold out there. Mm -hmm. Winter time. There's yes. just something about a warm peppermint flavored drink. Exactly. Yeah. Then it settles the stomach. Mm -hmm. You know, peppermint's good for your digestion. I did not know it, that. It if you're feeling uneasy, you can do peppermint. It eases your stomach. I already knew I was going to be nervous. There you, see? <laughs> there you go. It was just your subconscious was telling you. Just need to be settled a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but I don't know if you mix the espresso, I don't know, maybe those, you get jittery and you can't, I don't know. But hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Can you start by telling us a little bit, Katie, about what you do in Salem Kids? What I do, I am a small group leader for the fifth grade girls in the Bridge Ministry, which is great. And I also worked as a helper. Before I did Bridge, I was a helper for like the four-year-olds. Yeah. And that was really Awesome. And so how, how long have you been working in kids overall? In kids overall, five to six months, I think. Okay. And then you started with the bridge when the bridge launched a yes. few months ago? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you're also one of the students in our student ministry. Yes. Cool. That's correct. You are a freshman. Yes, a freshman. Yeah. Yay. Yep. So we love when our teenagers go serve and give back and say, hey, you know what? I know that there's a ministry for me, but also like who can I be investing in and who can mm -hmm. I be loving? I love that, Katie. Love, 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 right. love it. And so, you work with fifth graders, which yes. I'm sure is just a ball of fun. It is. Yeah, it and they just, oh my gosh, like every week I feel like I'm hearing stories that there's just more and more kids yeah. over there all the time. Like it's since, more and more. It's yeah, like since really it launched, I mean, there's one grade, just fifth just, graders. Just one, yeah. And there's like 30 kids over there. Yeah. This it's, is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are partying, hanging out. I saw yeah. they've got the big, like, um, what are they called? They're called um, uh, Zorbies. The big like bean bag. Oh yes. Yeah, you could like lose. Do you ever lose a kid in there? Just like uh, got no. the kid just got swallowed up and they're like, oh no. No, we don't. We haven't lost a kid yet. Oh okay, good. They're Fingers just crossed. they're huge and you just sink straight into them. Yeah, they're, they're big. Awesome. They're yeah. heavy though. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've had to move them before. Yeah. They, no. They're really heavy. But anyway, yeah. so you work with fifth graders. Yes. So tell us, uh, just like a funny. A uh, hilarious story about working with fifth graders. A uh, funny story, I was, um, we had a fall party about in October, and we were just hanging out, and they, this kid made a marshmallow, he cooked the marshmallow, and I was assembling his s'more, and then I dropped it. <laughs> and they had to remake the whole s'more, oh, and they were no. like, it's not a big deal, don't worry about it. But I'm like, it is a big deal, it's my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I got them a new marshmallow, and I'm like, again, and I remade their marshmallow, and I'm like, I'm not gonna drop it this time, I'm really sorry. Did he trust you to build it, or did he let somebody else build it? Did no. you resemble it again? He, he made, he let me resemble oh, it. Oh, that's really good. I was thankful. He still and had he, trust in you. He did. That's right. You I know, felt really bad. We're just teaching the fifth graders perseverance, you exactly. know, endurance. Perseverance. Sometimes things don't go your way, like maybe your s'more gets dropped on the ground, but, right. but can, there will be other s'mores. There will be other s'mores, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I just felt so bad. Yeah. But hey, you know what? Also, you know, we love to have fun and, and we party and we have full parties and we make s'mores. Yep. But also, you know, one of the things that we wanted to talk about is um, we want people who maybe don't get over to the side of the building as much. To, to understand and know that, that the kids over here are really experiencing God and, and are really having real life change as they learn about how much Jesus cares for them. And would love to just hear your perspective on where do you see God at work in the fifth grade bridge ministry? Well, I see God at work, you know, we do worship in there and I just see some of the kids aren't really like moving, they're just kind of sitting there. But some kids are just moving and they're feeling it. They're feeling the power of God in them. And it's really cool to see like even some of the kids who like aren't really moving, like I, I know that like God's there, and the kids that are moving, they're feeling it, and it's just really awesome to see. Yeah, to just like see the spirit of God at work. Yes, that's it's so amazing. cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. In their fifth grade. Yeah, they're only fifth grade. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, hey, Katie, we just appreciate so much all that you Thank do. You. Uh, we love having you in our student ministries. We love how God's moving in your life. We love the way that you're giving back, that you're serving, that you're loving others. Uh, man, just appreciate all that you do. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your peppermint you. mocha. And uh, yeah, have a great one. Yeah, Katie Connor, too. ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Let's welcome our next guest from Salem Students. It's Gwen Watkins. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank welcome you. to Monthly Stars. Thank you for inviting me. You're, you're it's welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, well, you know, now you have arrived. This is this is how we <laughs> tell. This video may have as many as 75 views before the end of the month. So I'm just kidding. They actually there's get us like several there. hundred views. So there's some, there's some oh, yeah, it happens. But hey, because you're a monthly star, as you just saw with Katie, we got you Starbucks. Oh, that's a Get it? Star, so yes. Starbucks. Do they sponsor this in any way? I, they do not. I'm actually a little bit nervous that maybe we need to like stop throwing their name around to like cover the logo. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's free promotion for them. I don't know. Yeah, so the whole like joke about stars and Starbucks, I actually saw that on the Laffy Taffy and I thought it was so funny, right? Like how do you yeah. how do you pay it's like uh what do, what do astronauts get paid in or something? Or something? Yeah, Starbucks. That's and I was clever. like, that's so funny, and then I was like, oh my gosh, we should use that. So anyway, <laughs> here we are. And yeah. then this whole series was birthed from a Laffy Taffy. There's another sponsor, Laffy Taffy. Yum. Okay. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. So first, tell us a little bit about what you do in Salem Students. All right. Well, I am a sixth grade girl small group leader in our Salem Middle School ministry. Yeah. And how long have you been doing that? Um, just since this last summer, um, I started with this group of sixth grade girls as they entered Salem Middle School. Yeah, which the summer is such a unique time to get started. It is, yeah. yeah. So it, it was a little interesting having all the high schoolers up there in the ministry too. And then, but it was good. I think it yeah. was a good flavor for everything. Right. I enjoyed it. So. Yeah, but now we're settling in. You're almost yes. a full semester of the school year in now. It's going fast already. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So tell me, okay, tell me something just hilarious about working with sixth grade girls because I'm sure that there has to be something. Um. Sixth grade girls, it's kind of a unique age because um, they're just kind of still straddling. You know, some of them still are in elementary school as the oldest right. kids at their school. Some of them are, are younger in the middle school. Um, so you have times where like they seem really grown up and um, other times where you're like, oh, they're 11 or 12 years old. Like they still be very much like kids, but they're, they have so much energy and are just so much fun and you just kind of never know what you're going to get week to week. Yes. They're, they're going to be really crazy, right. or and sometimes we'll surprise you and come up with something really deep and profound, and yeah. just step back and go, "Wow, yeah. that's awesome!" <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. Do you have any like specific, just like hilarious stories about working with them? Just really funny. Um, one of my favorites was from um, State Youth Convention this past year, and we were staying at host homes, and we yeah. were at because that's the conference that's hosted here. Yes, it yeah. is. Um, so since the kids don't get the hotel experience that the kids coming from other right. places in the state get, we stay at host homes. And one of our girls in our group, um, her family hosted our group. Right. Um, so we were down in their finished basement where we stayed. And the girls got the great idea that it would be a good time to slide down the basement stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so it started with just them sliding down the stairs. And then they just started coming up with more and more creative ways to slide down the stairs. And it evolved into blankets and pillows. Love it. And the slippery sleeping bags were Love about it. the best. Oh, yeah. And then they were taking videos and pictures and That's slow-mo awesome. videos on the phone. So <laughs> it was pretty impressive. That's Quite awesome. Quite artistic when it there you all, go. all of a sudden does. Please tell me that you and Barb also had to go down there. Oh, no. No. We did not. No, you just no. watched. We appreciated the footage, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid, we used to use cow- Cushions. I don't know if you ever did that, but that was our method of choice until my mom got mad because we were like ruining the cushion. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's, it's an adventure. It's like uh, Home Alone, you know, he started it, then it there you go. I like it, except they had to pad because there was a wall right at the end of the stairs. <laughs> so so they, they go straight it, was, the... it was kind of a miracle no one got hurt doing this, but. That makes it even better. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Cool. Well, hey, um, like I said when we were talking with Katie, you know, part of the other reason that we do these videos is, is we really want people to understand, like, hey, God is on the move, and teenagers, kids are learning about uh, Jesus and having experiences with God uh, over in, in our kids' ministry and our student ministry, and, and would love to just hear from your perspective um, just how you see God at work in the lives of these teenagers that you work with. Um, it's just amazing, even as I started helping out with this group, just some of the conversations we have when it isn't, like, crazy and um, silly and, and 
something really hits and resonates with them. Um, and just seeing, seeing them start to grow already and knowing that I'll have the opportunity to be with them year after year because that's one of the things I love about this ministry is the way the small groups are structured where we'll be their leader into seventh grade, eighth grade, and then through high school. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but there was an, an awesome week where we were talking about helping others and um, helping other people in their schools feel more included and just having them think of someone they could reach out to that week. And um, every one of them mentioned um, someone that they maybe weren't getting along with or may have had a falling out with. And so like the first people that came to mind that they could reach out to and help was someone that wasn't going to be an easy person to oh, talk to. Awesome. So it was just seeing them take it to that extra level was mm -hmm. just really, really exciting and oh. really awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, man, I love hearing stories like that and that our kids are, you know, just taking it seriously and they're, they're being challenged. They're not just taking easy things, but they're like, hey, how do I really do the hard thing when I know it's the right thing? That's awesome. Really? Yeah. Well, hey, Gwen, thanks so much for being here and thanks for all you do for our student ministry. Enjoy your drink. Oh my gosh, we forgot to talk about what did you get? I got the salted caramel mocha. Oh, typically, that's a... yeah, typically I don't do the fancy thing, yeah. but when you say what's your favorite and what would be a special treat, you know, that's right. how, how should I be paid in my Starbucks? <laughs> that's right, today? that's right. You gotta get Felt the bang for your buck. The salted caramel that's mocha. right, that's awesome. <laughs> well, hey, enjoy your salted caramel mocha. Thanks so much. Thank Gwen you. Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And that's it for Monthly Stars this month. We'll be back again next month with two more amazing volunteers. You won't want to miss it. Don't forget, if you want to follow along with what's happening with Salem Kids and Salem Students, you can download the Parent Q app and you can see everything that we're learning every single month. Great questions to ask your kids. Follow along. Thanks for all you do as our families. We love y'all. See you next month. <laughs>